Hi everyone, how are you doing? How is it everything? I hope you are all doing amazing. So guys, thank you for coming back to watch my video. Thank you always for watching my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell, get on file for any video which will be uploaded. So today's video, I'm not alone as usual, I'm with... Uh, hello, how are you? I'm Mr. Muzab. Uh, nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you so much. So today's uh, today's video, as I told you before, I'm not alone. I'm here in Nyamirambo, where I'm going to make a great conversation with a Sudanese guy uh, who operates their business in Rwanda, who has a lot of work here in Rwanda, and he's going to tell us when did you reach in Rwanda. Uh, I reached in Rwanda in 2019. In 2019? Yeah. In March. Yeah. Okay. 2019. Yes. Mm. Uh, okay. What about the first impression, the time you landed in Rwanda? Actually, it's uh, so nice. Was, uh, Rwanda is uh, amazing. It's a nice place. Uh, I come here. Uh, the first time I reached the airport, seriously, after I reached the airport and I see how Rwanda, I say this is uh, something nice for Africa, seriously. I, yeah, I say, what, you know, like a three day, four day, I didn't believe what I see. You are Period. also the one who can confirm Rwanda, especially Chigari city is the best city in all Africa. Uh, yeah, I, uh, me also, you know, I visit more uh, city before, I go Cape Town, I go to Nairobi, a lot of, but uh, seriously, Rwanda is the best Rwanda for me. Rwanda is the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Nairobi, even Cape Town? Yeah, I go Cape Town, Johannesburg. Also, at this Ababa, mm -hmm. I make four more and I convert. I see Rwanda is a very nice uh, country, seriously. is uh, safety. Actually, I feel I'm like, I'm, I'm this really is my home. Is yeah. It? Okay. Yeah. So, what mm. about the challenge? Mm. Uh, and. Mm, so, did you get any challenge about the culture and the living together with the Rwandan people? No. Uh, actually, now I live in apartment. Uh, me, I'm Sudanese with other Rwandan and also I have Kenyan. Uh, you live together. I didn't see any different. Any different. Mm. I live like, you know, yeah, there is no any problem with uh, Rwandan with people. Rwanda. Uh, no, it's very I friendly. Know, Seriously. Yeah. Mm. We are very friendly. We are the most welcoming people. We are, we are the most welcoming country in the whole world. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, sometimes you hear something not like you see. After I come here and I see, I believe what people will say. It's very nice people. Uh, and also, there is a lot of thing nice, like you know, the culture here in Rwanda, the people every time grow up, you know, the actually I see the young people of Rwanda is, you know, how to be international people. Yeah. So, mm. living in Rwanda compared to the cartoon, yeah, okay, you are from yeah Half from Kortum. yes mm -hmm. yeah, yeah is it easy so or uh, what about the cost of living mm. in yeah. rwanda compared to the sudan uh, okay. so but let, let's start the point on mm. the lending or accommodation compared to here in rwanda mm. uh, to Khartoum. yeah Khartoum and rwanda actually is different yeah it's different Okay, uh, it's different because uh, Khartoum 
and Rwanda is different located, different uh, uh, position. But what I see here in Rwanda, uh, Rwanda and Khartoum. Khartoum is capital, capital country, very very big country. It's very big. Very big country, yeah. Uh, but Rwanda, I didn't talk about, you know. Uh, there is some people you can say this some uh, Rwanda is a small country. Me, I don't believe small country or big country. Mm -hmm. I believe the good life. The good life. Yeah, the good life. Seriously, mm -hmm. there is a sometime you can find the country is a so big, mm -hmm. but the people is not live very well. It is surviving. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, and more in Africa like that. Mm -hmm. And there is a, you know, this time you must. The, the 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 government of Rwanda, you know how what he has, you know how to manage it very well. This is what I like about Rwanda. What? So mm. I was wondering, we, we, which is the way mm. the so for example here in Rwanda, yeah, how do we get the, like a li life insurance? Mm. Is it very affordable for everyone? Mm. Is it very very easy to access? Yeah. And I wish to know mm. uh, what about the cost of uh, mm. I'm about to say cost of life. I mm. think there's no cost of life. Yeah. So what about the life insurance in mm. the Khartoum? Uh, life insurance in Khartoum also is not bad, mm -hmm. but. I told you the country. So here in Rwanda, mm. in general, can pay three thousand one hundred francs, mm. and you can access any medication for mm. the whole year. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, this is a good point here in Rwanda. Mm. Yeah, and you know, I have some of my friends, Sudanese uh, doctor, who work here some in King Faisal Hospital, and there is other hospital. I ask him to say here. The government will support people more than than Sudan. Than Sudan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We are glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So my my another question is about your business. Mm. Uh, what kind of business do you learn in, in mm. here in Rwanda? Mm. Uh, actually, me, I come from Sudan. I restart in 2014. 2014, 2014 oh after God. university direct mm -hmm. uh, I'm jewelry man I'm only all my life uh, I learned to be jewelry I sell gold I sell silver and uh, diamond something like that okay yeah this is what I learned after university I'm businessman okay and also uh, 2014, 2015, until 2018, and I reach here. I continue in the continue. same way. Okay, even in the cartoon, yeah. you learn such kind of business, selling, yeah. mm. making like uh, jewelries. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This is uh like you know I'm in this business, uh like uh, 12 years. Yeah. 12 years. Yeah. 12 I'm in this, years. Yes, I'm in this business. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I con I start in Sudan, I continue here in Rwanda, and in future, you want to be also in other country. You want to pr make branch in East Africa, you'll be... You are really, yeah. really yeah, yeah. So, um, is, it, is it easy to learn or to start a business here in Rwanda, especially mm. getting a permit to start in working? Yeah, Rwanda, you know, what uh rwanda say welcome for everyone seriously yeah in rwanda the market is not easy but also rwandis and government of rwanda rdb you know everyone who come from outside you tell him welcome mm -hmm. welcome to rwanda and you give you the paper the everything very faster you know like a 24 hour you get your uh, paper. Your paper yes wow. and uh, also uh, what i like seriously i'm here i'm like uh, more than than five years now mm -hmm. there is no any time someone he come in my shop and he asking me any corruption 
never this is what i see here in rwanda yeah i, I respect know. this thing it's not yeah, like other country love. yeah 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 i respect this one you know and he give me push i stay here a long time mm -hmm. yeah because after you live here in this country or any country african country the very problem the corruption for the businessman and you know as you don't like to work you want to like you know to pay your taxes to pay everything mm -hmm. you know any problem about the your taxes you live very good and you get what you want for sure yeah so mm. uh, so we are no more corrupted mm. here in rwanda like uh, another country mm. that, that we are had every time corruption corruption yeah and it wonder we are totally clean yeah you know seriously some people you can ask me sometimes some my friends from dubai from other country you ask me how's rwanda i tell him yeah rwanda you know is yes maybe the economic is a medium mm -hmm. but there is a lot of thing good about rwanda yeah yeah there is a lot of a lot a lot of a lot of thing good you know can you stay here in rwanda example and you is still young like uh, as you come in uh, me i come here i'm to uh, 28 years 28 years i reach rwanda and uh, i try to do my own business and i find that rwanda is good is good is good very good yeah. so so is it easy to get a, a job in sudan mm. compared to rwanda Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, like yes. working like a, in a public or in a government. Mm. Uh, so, is it easy to find a job? Yeah. In, in such a way. Yes. Uh, actually, in Sudan, it's easy to find a job because mm -hmm. Sudan is so big, mm -hmm. so very big country. Okay, and uh, also in Sudan, uh, some a lot of people. You, you get job because you don't work about the government you work alone business most of the young people you have business business alone and uh, also uh, also in, in Sudan what I see there uh, here in Rwanda uh, it's not easy to get job uh, but uh, other people is a chance between the other person mm -hmm. for any person you have everyone has chance mm -hmm. everyone is about the luck is it 50 50 yes 50 50 yeah yeah so mm -hmm. so do you think mm -hmm. uh working for yourself or owning your own business mm -hmm. is better than working in the government or in yeah something like that and then the some of private institution mm -hmm. or do you think about working by yourself uh me you know actually oh, also no what about the best of <laughs> working by yourself yeah not not you know not everyone he work alone not all the people sometimes you work alone is the best not every business example uh there is a, some people you work with good company in government nice position also you get good life and also is it bent by the person what he choose okay example for me after i finished the university i say i want to make my own a business now it's 12 years and you know 12 years is not uh, a little 12 years i i restart to learn i start from zero until i get what i want i start from zero uh sometimes zero sell also here yeah, after i come in rwanda you know i try i try i try until i get what i want and it's still continuous but as it depends by the person there is a, some people who work with a company in good position is good and also what you learn uh, and what you get is it depend by the person for me i like to be businessman for myself i like to be businessman alone I, I don't like to be with uh to work with other person and uh, i'm good now see. so by mm. now mm. uh which kind of position mm. can you make you mm. uh leaving your job 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. For me, example, I can say. From here, example, I can. Why I don't get any position? I can leave my job, you know, <laughs> because. You know, I like this is my dream. My company is like my dream. I I can't live my dream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can. Yes, I can't. See, I can't live. No, I get myself here. Yeah. Even being like a prime minister, you can't leave your job. No, you know me. I like to be businessman only. I don't like to be <laughs> in another position. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. So, ah. Mm. Uh, where is your business is really located i mean physical yeah. location yeah actually you have uh three branch here in kigali uh the head office in Nimrambu, mirongini and there is other uh locations location in chic building one floor mm -hmm. near access bank mm -hmm. and also there is a uh, in kpc there also the sat and you have also other business like you know salon beauty for men oh, yes you really also yes. run a yeah you have a line for beauty uh -huh. especially in location salon for men oh. in narutarama near woodland, woodland. near woodland yeah. I mean, yeah yeah yes there is uh, other and also there is other company uh for tourists also you have yes tourists yes tourism company oh. His name uh, Anish Company Service. Anish Company Service. Also, this is for us. Uh, the office in Narutarama near Woodland. Also, the oh. office is there. So, what kind of services do you offer? Any is it Anish? Anish, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you actually you make booking for the other people to come from outside Sudanese Arab people come from Qatar from Dubai. Okay, you make for him the booking. You also you go for him. You take him in the airport, and you sometimes he want to go. Example, he visit a different uh, city like uh, take him Musanzi, Giseni. Okay. Ah, yeah. This is what you do. Okay. Yeah. You can also um, arrange for the ticket for the visa. Yeah. Actually, you have some connect connect with other office can help us about okay. everything yeah okay. yeah uh, actually you like i like to support visit Rwanda. all right yeah, yeah. Yeah. so kindly you really made it so mm. by now how mm. many employees i have, have i have like uh four four yes mm -hmm. and uh, four lady mm -hmm. one boy already one boy. one boy yeah five yeah by now five. you support five of London. yes 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 and also in other salon you have like a two and in a niche company you have like a three uh what kind of a piece of advice or mm. should you offer to the youth generation or to the younger generation mm. yeah especially for the Rwandese mm. or Rwandan even for the Sudanese mm. uh, yeah. by the way uh, how do you call a people from Sudan the people from Sudan uh, like uh, how do you call mm. a citizen for the Sudan uh, Nas. Nas. say Nas yes so what about the gender no, Janja, this is uh, other people. No, uh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> actually, it's not Janja. Yeah, so actually, I, I, I thought uh, the the population or yeah. the citizen of Sudan. Mm. I thought Janja. No, 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 no. Oh. This Janja is a few people in Sudan. Okay, uh, and they live in I think uh, in East. Yeah, it's not. Uh, not all the people say Sudanese nas more the position. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's back in one hour of our question. Yeah. Uh, what about the piece of advice yeah. to the Rwanda and the youth to the Sudanese? Mm. Yeah. Let me say, let me say for Africa. Because as all Africa. Yes, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
uh, actually I can say some people you think the money you don't have money and I can get what I want I can't get what the, my uh, my dreams no not everything by money yeah because uh, sometimes can everyone you asking him why you don't start say the money don't have money enough I don't have money no money is not the big problem okay uh, but this important you must uh, to have vision yeah, yeah. yes to know what do you want in the life what do you want first you don't know what do you want never because i can give you the money and you don't know what do you do exactly. you lost this money okay first you must stay with yourself and to know what do you want, what do you want yes in your life okay mm -hmm. and to choose and put plan work hard for this plan okay for myself me every year example i think i i like to think about what i want like a one month other months i work for what i want yes and don't be hurry about the feedback most of the people is very hurry about you know they have a, something like a pressure yeah I try this one. I didn't do it. I go check. I go for the other. No. They don't have a question. Yeah. You must wait. Sometime um, one business must wait like uh, more than than seven years, ten years. No problem. Mm -hmm. Believe you find a mistake, try to correct this mistake and continues until you made. Yes. Don't lose your position because of any problem. You have them more capacity and you will get one. anyway guys this is my happily ending i hope you are all enjoying this video with uh, mr muhammad and i also like to say thank you very much to mr muhammad for his time for his hospitality which is really really amazing so guys let me know in the comment which country are you watching from and what do you think about um, our conversation what do you think uh, about every single word and what do you think about every single piece of advice that uh, we got from Mr. Muhammad? And so, guys, if you are not yet also subscribe, click on please, and make sure you also hit the bells in order to get notified for any video which will be uploaded so guys have a nice sunday and thank you for watching thank you for everything and see you in the next video